What's up guys? All right, welcome to another vlog and today we're going to be focusing on the Range Rover, okay? SVR, which is the hottest Range Rover you can currently buy. This thing is going to be between 110 and 150 depending on how you spec it out. Now, what I've been doing lately, I've I've got the Model X P100D and I've gotten into a lot of conversations with different owners about the difference between their vehicle and uh, this particular owner of the SVR was like, "Hey, I would love for you to experience this. I love it. Uh, it's got 570 horsepower, supercharged V8, right? Now I have have a LT4 in my Camaro ZL1, so I'm used to that. That one has even more horsepower. But he said this thing rockets. Uh, it's fun. It's comfortable. It's luxurious. And I'm like, hey, I'd love to check it out. He said, go for it. So we have pretty much a top spec version today. The only thing this one does not have is the carbon fiber hood. And the reason why is because it was going to take an extra three months, he said, to get it. So that's very interesting. Before I get into the inside of this vehicle, which is really nice, let's take a take some overall details uh, you can check out the brakes here they say Range Rover on them uh, they are very solid they're very solid brakes um, you know look, good looking tires here they make different uh, types of wheels you know perfect profile you're gonna have a nice comfortable ride still uh, but uh, you know still good good uh, tire profile here's the suspension in this thing and it looks Pretty much beefy and nice and high quality. You got carbon fiber here, gloss carbon fiber here. Okay, you know it's good looking. It's got some really nice lines on it. I, I do. I always like the way the new Range Rover kind of slants down ever so slightly. Kind of looks like it's squatting. Uh, gives it a little bit more of an aggressive line. Here you have the lights. Very cool looking detail of this car. Look at that. That's like 3D cut. Just gorgeous. Got the SVR badge here. Special vehicle operations, okay? Very cool. Blacked out range. All the trim is blacked out in this car. So there's no gloss trim or, or bright trim. Before we get into the inside, let's see if I can uh, open up the hood. <clears throat> How difficult this is to do with one hand. Might have to jump off here. But, you know, the hood's functional. So that's nice. Yeah, see? And uh, we gotta clean this bad boy. I'm gonna do that for him today so it looks nice. All right, 570 horsepower. Still got over 500 pounds of torque in this bad boy. Big motor. That's nice. You can see here it's got the steering brace so it's clearly set up for some good performance. You really can't see much though. They got the whole damn thing covered up. And it's cheap plastic. Yeah, even that. So that's one thing I like about the LT4. That thing is, uh, it's got a nice aluminum cover on it. It's heavy. Uh, you know, it's nice in here. I mean, there's, you can see down here, there's the heat diffusers to keep this thing cool. So you got one giant radiator there. <clears throat> Looks like there's another couple of radiators there. And another big one right here. So anytime you have an engine like this, you're going to need to cool it. So... Nice, nice looking engine, although they keep everything covered up. You know, before we get into the front, let's look at the back. So, interesting the way these seats are, isn't it? They're very Recaro racing-like seats. The, the leather quality is phenomenal. It's soft to the touch. Feels high class. I haven't really seen this. These are little individual lines that they've punched into the leather. Very nice looking. You have the SVR logo in it. I love the use of different types. You have the Alcantara suede here. This is just a nice looking interior. You do have to step up a little bit, but for me, it's not too bad. I'm six feet tall. Carbon fiber on the door. You got the moon roof up here. So very airy car, lets in lots of light. Here you also have the carbon fiber. I've got plenty of room here. Got about a good solid inch. Let's let this down, see if there's anything special about it. Probably just a cup holder. Yep. What's well, nice back here? It really is. You know, I could sit back here, take a nice road trip in it. And frankly, the reason why I'm even looking at getting another ICE vehicle is just for that. It's for road trips. Because the problem is when you have a Model X, especially mine, you're going to get shit rain. So it's really hard to take a long trip 
So if you want to go down to Florida, right, which is an eight-hour drive and requires at least one, if not two, long supercharger stops. So it's nice when you can get into this and just go to the gas station, right? And you can get 500 miles to a tank. Even though this thing does get pretty atrocious fuel economy on premium, it's getting basically... 14 combined 14 15 so not very good so let's go ahead and put it in dynamic mode which should open up the exhaust a little bit and see how it sounds wow dang this thing sounds insane wow it's got some pops and backfires okay Damn, that sounds good. Uh, otherwise, it's just a nice place to spend time. The steering wheel is phenomenal. It feels great. Look at the way the buttons are. They give you a little bit of feedback. They light up. Very cool design, too. Uh, I like it. Let's put the heated steering wheel on. Yeah. I like this. This is nice, right? I mean, basically, Jaguar is and Land Rover are the same company now and I think they're owned by an Indian company actually called Tata Motors uh, but you know Land Rover has been owned by Ford it's been owned by BMW there's a lot of different companies that contributed the DNA see look you can keep it in dynamic mode but you can turn the exhaust off let's see what that sounds like real quick well hell it still sounds loud <laughs> so I don't know what the hell that did um, all right whatever this is nice though. Um, I really like it. This is just high quality. It looks like an uh, it looks like Audi, frankly. It looks like the the Urus in so many different ways. Really nice. Just everything's leather. Feels high quality, guys. Really, really does. So we're gonna take this thing for a test drive. I'm really curious how it drives, but overall, first impressions. You know, you can take or leave the looks on the outside. I personally dig it. But uh, yeah, the interior, no denying, this is all leaps and bounds above the P100 in just about every way. And guys, if I'm not gonna do a full video on this today. The, the Titans game's coming up and I, I got places to be, but in the end of the day, like go check out, I'm gonna put the link up here in the description, so, and, and in the description, but I'll also be uh, linked in the video here. So go check out my 100D video. I've got the whole first week of me having the vehicle. And then I've also got the uh, difference between that and the Urus. So you guys can check it out. <clears throat> but let's go take this thing for a spin. I'm pretty excited. All right, let's see what kind of, uh, trunk space this thing has got i'm very curious about it i uh, just jumped out before i took a drive i wanted to go ahead and show you this so you know you could lay the seats down in this vehicle and have a ton of space uh this is this gives you plenty of space that's the best part about having an suv makes it very practical uh looks like to lower the seats there's a couple of buttons you got to pull down here and yeah this would give you a lot of room and uh, i like it a lot from that point of view this is a good going to the beach vehicle all right let's go for a drive let's fire it up again so fires up pretty calm it's it's calmer than when you rev it i'll tell you that right now and let's see what mode we're in so we're in normal we'll go ahead and keep it in normal actually until Go ahead and close the door. It is cold today. Keep it in normal mode. In order to put it in drive, you push this back. Got to hold your foot on the brake. And I got to go ahead and get out of my driveway here. I like it. I like it a lot. It's It just feels quality. Uh, steering wheel has good weight to it. Uh, it's pretty easy to drive. The turning radius is great. Uh, I had no problem with that three-point turn. So, you know, you sit up real high. Check that out. <laughs> you know, it's, this just feels like a quality vehicle. It really does. Um, you know, I like it a lot. I do. If, if I'm going to get an internal combustion engine for the family and money is no object, I'm probably taking one of these. You know, the, the Urus was great as well. You know, but I, I actually think this has just got something special about it that the Urus doesn't have uh, other than a $100,000 lower pr 
price, which is nice. Um, but yeah, steering weight, you know, you can see here, like, there's not much play in it. It feels pretty sporty. So, you know, there's not a lot of give. Like, you go like that, you go like that, you feel it. So it's weighted pretty good. Uh, it's only got 13,000 miles on it, so he's just about broke it in. Um, you know, nice, though. Nice. Just, like, you sit up so high, you feel like king of the road here. I do dig that. Brakes are pretty mild. They don't bite too bad. Oh, yeah. When you get on that engine, though, you feel that V8. Man, this thing's got a lot of torque. So I'm going to, you know, I don't know if you guys can see. You probably can. It's flashing there. The You do have a heads-up display. So that's kind of interesting that they threw one in this vehicle. It's one thing the Lamborghini did not have. It's also something the the my, my uh, P100D does not have. it. The Tesla does not have a heads-up display, which would be nice. I, I do like those. All right, look at the technology on the screen here. You got your map on the right. That's very cool. Still have multiple screens here. So now that we're kind of out of the neighborhood or almost out, let's go ahead and put it in dynamic mode. See what that does. Ooh, it changes the picture on the screen. Dynamic program selected. Okay, let's see what you can do. So, all right, getting out of the neighborhood here. Ah, oh, it's got engine start stop. Well, you know, I don't understand why people really care about that. When you're getting 14 miles a gallon, like really, is the engine start stop making much of a difference in your uh, your life there? I don't think so, except shutting off your air conditioning and your heat, but whatever. All right, let's, I'm gonna keep it in automatic mode because I gotta keep one hand on the phone here, but let's uh, let's go ahead and see how she drives. Yeah. Got some pickup. It's still a big vehicle though, and you know it. Wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, I didn't think I hit the uh, gas pedal that hard, but I guess I did. It's, uh, you don't have to push it very hard for it to uh, go into fun mode. Yeah, about half throttle and then that's it. She, she wants to take off on you. Well, very cool, you know, and even in the, uh, I don't know, you can see it here, but the, this actually changes. Now it shows your RPMs in the uh, heads-up display when you change into dynamic mode. So, yeah, this is nice. This is a nice uh, performance vehicle. It sounds amazing. I really, really love it. Really sounds legit. Uh, damn. <laughs> and you set up high. I mean, look, there's one thing about the Tesla that you just don't get that you get from an internal combustion engine, right? The, the feeling, there's something about the gear changes and the pops and the dings and the burbles and all that that you get from a big old V8 like this. So I don't know, you know, I, I could take or leave that, but I do miss it, if I'm being honest. Like if I didn't have the Camaro, I'd miss it even more, but I still have an internal combustion car that makes plenty of noise. <laughs> so I'm not too worried. Uh, but you know, when you're not on this vehicle, it's pretty quiet. You know, like right now, just cruising, uh, it's comfortable. I mean, this this very much could uh, could be a very good road trip vehicle, uh, no doubt about it. I mean, I like it, I really do. It's it's smooth, and you sit up high like this. I mean, look at your view; it's just wow. I mean, you really, really sit up high. So yes, I, I dig it. I'm I'm very much digging it as far as first impressions. Just feels classy and high quality and plenty of power and just just a nice place to spend uh, your day you know it really is so i'm gonna uh put the phone down do a little bit more test driving when we have uh some more space i don't have a guy that's literally doing two miles below the speed limit and uh we'll report back here in a little bit all right i've had a chance to uh drive it a little bit more and you know i i, I like it even more now uh let me go ahead and, and get on the fuel here just a bit so I can show you how it shifts gears. It's really, really well done, right? So this is half throttle. It kind of pauses a little bit and then shifts. So it, it kind of shifts and then it, it holds it. It holds it just a little bit, right? So it, like, 
I, I, how do I explain this? So it doesn't just bang gears, even in dynamic mode. It pauses just for a split second and kind of takes the speed off, which gives you a really smooth shift. It's, it's nice. Uh, like one more time, right? So it downshifts, took a split second, and then it, you know, it's going and it's saying, hey, you know, um, so it just makes it nice to drive. It really does. It's, it's uh, very, very comfortable. It's not harsh. It's really something that you could take a full day trip in. And, uh, and I like that. I do, you know, that's, that's just one thing about the Urus when I was in dynamic mode, that thing banged gears. It was pretty harsh. Uh, it's not something that I'd want to drive a lot in that mode. Um, let's go ahead and uh, take it on the highway here and we'll figure out exactly here. Let's give it a little bit of gas. Hey, it holds gears. It really, really holds gears. I mean, there's 80. Like, it, this is a fast car, <laughs> fast, fast SUV. I mean, it's incredible that this thing weighs over 5,000 pounds and moves like that. Uh, it's just big, big supercharged engine. So yes, I, I'm, I'm very much in, I'm enjoying it. You know, let's uh, let's go ahead and relax a little bit, see how it feels just when we're driving on the highway. This is about your everyday drive. It's nice, you know. It's revving real low. Look at that, under 2,000 RPMs, doing 74. So you're gonna get fairly good fuel economy. Yeah, this is this is a nice vehicle. It really is. It really, really is. I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. it just uh, feels good. I'm curious what this mode right here does. So, oh, that's my dynamic setup. Okay, never mind. Well, let's uh, let's get off one more time here. Cruise is great. Really, really enjoyable there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do one more pull up here in a little bit. Yeah, I like it a lot. I really, I, this is just a nice vehicle. It's got a sense of occasion. That's that's my term, as you guys know, if you've watched a few of my videos to it. Uh, the seats are super comfortable. They're sporty, but they're comfortable. Yeah, there's your gear select knob. It's a very British sounding gear selector. I want to say it's all-wheel drive. It feels all-wheel drive. I mean, it squats a little bit when you get on it, but it feels all-wheel drive. And you can hear the exhaust backfiring a little bit, but I think you really got to be in in sport mode, which which I don't think it's going to give me much of that when I'm just in normal drive like I am now. I wonder if I could... Uh, You're okay, Mr. Audi. All right. Oh, it does sound good though. Golly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all wheel drive. Just feeling it right there where it pulled my front wheel. That's gotta be all wheel drive. So, you know, it's, it's always in four wheel drive mode and it still pulls like this. I'm gonna do a little research to confirm that, but I have a feeling that that is the case. Man, it's good. God, it's just effortless speed for being such a big vehicle. Jeez, unbelievable. See, I'm, I'm digging the power plant. I really am. V8, hell yeah, guys. I mean, anytime you supercharge a V8, you, you're gonna pretty much have an A in my book, but this, this tr the way the transmission feels, it still maintains the luxury experience. And that's really important, right? Because I don't want a car like this that just goes fast. I also want something that can be comfortable. I mean, even though I'm in my harshest mode right now, and you can see I've got other modes, right? I've got hill and all these other things that I could do. Uh, you know, I've got eco mode. Here, let's see what that does. That probably neuters it. All right, so now I'm gonna do eco mode. Picture changes again. So the, I'm getting some little green things here. It took a minute to shift into that mode, didn't it? 
It's probably quiet. It's in top gear. Yeah, see, now when you give it gas, it doesn't do anything. Here, let's give it half throttle. <laughs> it only downshifts one gear. That's funny. So yeah, eco mode is, is probably something that this owner has never tried. I highly doubt it. Let's see, this is normal mode. Comfort, oh, that's comfort mode, okay. So comfort mode will downshift two gears if you give it some fuel. So that's interesting. What other modes do we have? Grass, gravel snow mode. All right, fair enough. And what is this? Mud ruts. Wow. So this has definitely still got your off-road capabilities. You got sand. And the last mode here is rock crawl. Wow, rock crawl. They really expect people who buy Range Rovers at $140,000 to go rock crawling? I mean, really? I uh, don't know about that one, guys, but okie dokie. All right, let's see it. I'm heading back to the neighborhood here. Let's go ahead and give it full throttle, see what you can do. Wow, that sounds great. It really does. You know, it shifts. Once you let off the fuel, it shifts quickly. So yeah, this is this is a, this is well-engineered vehicle. I could see why he likes it so much. He, I asked him if he wanted to sell it, and he said no. Nope. <laughs> I said if I, if I did sell it, I'd buy another one. So I, I get it, you know. And and these things are still depreciating like crazy. I was I saw them in the 60s and 70s for a used one, but you know they're still pretty expensive. Most of them were uh, right below 100 or over 100 grand. So I could see why. I mean, gosh, that engine, it's good. I do like it. I like it a lot. It doesn't overpower the vehicle though. I mean, it, it does propel it forward, but it's not too much. So yeah, I'll do one more video to do a wrap up, but uh, driving impressions are very positive. All right, guys, this is a wrap up video. So yes, I like this vehicle, I do. I mean, I think it's pricey, but when these things come down and depreciate, I think this is gonna be a great, great car to pick up. Uh, you got a killer motor and a nice looking vehicle very much got a good presence about it the interior is phenomenal interior is really where this car shines and and not only that but the overall driving of the vehicle it's it's fast and it sounds amazing but it's also not harsh you know it takes a second to when you go and shift gears and i like that a lot it's comfortable uh you know and it's just nice in here i mean look you got this big moon roof all, everything's just like I showed you earlier. Everything's just nice, feels good. Heating steering wheel works incredible. Uh, you know, the heat in the car was great. It's freezing today. So it's just a nice place to spend time. I would take this all day, every day to the beach. And uh, that's actually what I'm thinking about getting is one of these for that exact reason, because I don't want to stop at a supercharger station for two hours on my trip. That's kind of a nice function. You know, but whereas this, you get to have your cake and you get to eat it too, right? You get something that's fun and sporty. And yeah, the only negative is you're going to have to put premium gas in it every uh, probably, what, week, depending on how much you drive. I know I would do that every week. But yeah, look at these uh, double exhaust tips. You know, it's, it's nice. It's not ostentatious either. That's one thing about this vehicle is not ostentatious in any way. Uh, I almost feel like it could be a little more ostentatious considering the fact that it has a 500 horsepower motor. You know, they they kind of uh, made it pretty tame uh, looking anyway. But that's not a bad thing. Check out the lights. That's cool. Lights are nice. Again, it's similar to the back where they're cut out. Uh, it's so sunny today. It's probably going to be all overexposed. But yes, I dig it. I'm a fan of this car. Would I buy one over the Model X? I, I still got to go with the Model X for a daily for me just because I drive so much, right? If, if I drove just a couple of miles a day, I'd probably go with this, frankly. But with my average of doing about 60, 70 miles a day, it's just too much. This is too much driving. I'm tired of going to the, going to the gas station. This is interesting. It kind of raises up just a smidge. But yeah, I think the uh, the owner is really enjoying this vehicle for a reason, and I and I get it. It's it's a nice place to spend time. Look at that; it's interesting. 
two ranges. The hell do you show me two ranges for? It's really weird. Well, I gotta say, this thing does take a minute to just boot up. It just now <laughs> went into its actual climate settings. And I guess this doesn't do it. Let's, uh, let's have the sound system. Let's see how that sounds. So, guys. All right, guys. I really appreciate you watching my videos. This is a quicker one. Uh, check out my Model X P100D video if you want my thoughts on that car. I, as you know, I bought it. I love it. Uh, but this is this is a nice vehicle as well. You got uh, storage options here. Well, actually, not much storage options. You can do a micro SIM card. I wonder if there's a camera. Uh, looks like you got places to charge that. Oh, yeah, there's got to be another way. There it is. And you got a little tiny cubby hole here for some stuff. So not a ton of storage in this car, but nice nonetheless. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, comment. I'll do my best to answer and give you my uh, my questions and or answer your questions on this vehicle. Uh, but yes, this is uh, this has got my thumbs up. You know, if you're not into the electric, if you like the the old school thunder of a V8, if you like the comfort, if you like the prestige that the range line gives you, the interior quality is phenomenal. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a, I'm a I'm liking this a lot as a family car going to the beach and buying this somewhat depreciated maybe around 50 60 grand or 70 grand like this this is a lot of car for the money and i don't think you can go wrong i really don't by the way that's what was making all the noise in the video if you didn't pick up on that he's got a radar detector but yeah it's nice i like it i look forward to your comments guys as always thanks for watching and uh we'll see you in the uh the next video subscribe